Welcome. Today we have selected the most interesting questions for you. But before we start, I want to ask you for feedback. After passing the quiz, leave a comment about it. Help us make them even better. Also, if you like what we do, don't forget to like and subscribe. Well, let's get started. Question 1. In the Book of Judges, who was the judge known for his strength derived from his uncut hair? A. Gideon B. Samson C. Jephthah D. Deborah The correct answer is B. So, the woman gave birth to a son and named him Samson. The boy grew, and the Lord blessed him. And the Spirit of the Lord began to stir him at Mahanedan between Zorah and Eshtaol. Question 2. What was the name of the woman who seduced Samson and betrayed him to the Philistines? A. Ruth B. Delilah C. Esther D. Sarah The correct answer is B. So, Delilah said to Samson, Please tell me the source of your great strength and how you can be tied up and subdued. Samson told her, If they tie me up with seven fresh bowstrings that have not been dried, I will become as weak as any other man. Question 3. In Isaiah, who was the king of Judah when Isaiah received his prophetic call? A. Uzziah B. Ahaz C. Hezekiah D. Josiah The correct answer is A. In the year that King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord seated on a throne, high and exalted, and the train of his robia filled the temple. Above him stood seraphim, each having six wings. With two wings, they covered their faces. Question 4. In 1 Samuel, who was the first king of Israel? A. Solomon B. David C. Saul D. Samuel The correct answer is C. Then Samuel took a flask of oil, poured it on Saul's head, kissed him, and said, Has not the Lord anointed you ruler over his inheritance? Question 5. What was the name of Saul's son and David's best friend? A. Absalom B. Jonathan C. Ish-bosheth D. Amnon The correct answer is B. After David had finished speaking with Saul, the souls of Jonathan and David were knit together, and Jonathan loved him as himself. And from that day, Saul kept David with him and did not let him return to his father's house. Question 6. According to 2 Samuel, who was the prophet who rebuked David for his sins with Bathsheba? A. Elisha B. Samuel C. Elijah D. Nathan The correct answer is D. Then the Lord sent Nathan to David, and when he arrived, he said, There were two men in a certain city, one rich and the other poor. The rich man had a great number of sheep and cattle, but the poor man had nothing except one small ewe lamb that he had bought. Question 7. In Fern Kings, who was the prophet who confronted King Ahab and prophesied a severe drought upon the land? A. Jeremiah B. Elisha C. Isaiah D. Elijah
The correct answer is D. Now Elijah the Tishbite, who was among the settlers of Gilead, said to Ahab, As surely as the Lord lives, the God of Israel before whom I stand, there will be neither dew nor rain in these years except at my word. Question 8. What was the name of the widow whom Elijah visited during the famine? A. Widow of Shunem B. Widow of Nine C. Widow of Zarephath D. Widow of Bethlehem The correct answer is C. Then the word of the Lord came to Elijah, Get up and go to Zarephath of Sidon and stay there. Behold, I have commanded a widow there to provide for you. Question 9. According to two kings, what was the name of the commander of the army of the king of Aram who was healed of leprosy by Elisha? A. Naaman B. Gehazi C. Hazael D. Ben-Hadad The correct answer is A. So Naaman went down and dipped himself in the Jordan seven times, according to the word of the man of God, and his flesh was restored and became like that of a little child, and he was clean. Question 10. In 1 Chronicles, who was the father of King Solomon? A. Rehoboam B. Saul C. David D. Solomon. The correct answer is C. My son, said David to Solomon, it was in my heart to build a house for the name of the Lord my God, but this word of the Lord came to me. You have shed much blood and waged great wars. Question 11. According to 2 Chronicles, who was the king of Judah known for his great wisdom and wealth? A. Rehoboam B. Solomon C. Hezekiah D. Josiah The correct answer is B. So King Solomon surpassed all the kings of the earth in riches and wisdom. All the kings of the earth sought an audience with Solomon to hear the wisdom that God had put in his heart. Question 12. In Ezra, who was the Persian king who allowed the Jews to return to Jerusalem and rebuild the temple? A. Cyrus B. Darius C. Xerxes D. Art Xerxes The correct answer is A. In the first year of Cyrus king of Persia, to fulfill the word of the Lord spoken through Jeremiah, the Lord stirred the spirit of Cyrus king of Persia to send a proclamation throughout his kingdom. Question 13. According to Nehemiah, what was Nehemiah's role when he first heard about the condition of Jerusalem? A. Cupbearer to the king. B. High priest. C. Scribe. D. General. The correct answer is A. O Lord, may your ear be attentive to my prayer and to the prayers of your servants who delight to revere your name. Give your servant success this day, I pray, and grant him mercy in the sight of this man. At that time, I was the cupbearer to the king. Question 14. Who was the king that sought to kill the infant Jesus, leading to the flight to Egypt? A. Herod Antipas B. Herod Archelaus C. Herod Agrippa D. Herod the Great
The correct answer is D. When Herod saw that he had been outwitted by the Magi, he was filled with rage. Sending orders, he put to death all the boys in Bethlehem and its vicinity who were two years old and under, according to the time he had learned from the Magi. Question 15. In Esther, what was the name of the king of Persia who married Esther? A. Darius B. Cyrus C. Xerxes D. Artax Xerxes The correct answer is C. In the third year of his reign, Xerxes held a feast for all his officials and servants. The military leaders of Persia and Media were there, along with the nobles and princes of the provinces. Question 16. According to Job, what was the name of Job's wife? A. Ruth B. Was not mentioned C. Leah D. Dinah The correct answer is B. In the biblical book of Job, the name of Job's wife is not mentioned. While she appears in the narrative, particularly during Job's trials, her name is not provided in the text. She is primarily known for her brief dialogue with Job. Question 17. In Psalms, which psalm begins with the words, The Lord is my shepherd, I lack nothing. A. Psalm 119. B. Psalm 150. C. Psalm 23. D. Psalm 51. The correct answer is C. The famous Psalm 23 begins with the words, The Lord is my shepherd, I lack nothing, expressing trust and contentment in God's provision and care. Question 18. According to Proverbs, what is the beginning of wisdom? A. Understanding B. Knowledge C. Fear of the Lord D. Love The correct answer is C. Proverbs 9.10 states, The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, and knowledge of the Holy One is understanding, emphasizing reverence and awe toward God as the foundation of wisdom. Question 19. In Ecclesiastes, who is the author of the book? A. David B. Solomon C. Job D. Ezra The correct answer is B. The traditional attribution for the authorship of the book of Ecclesiastes is King Solomon, who is identified as the teacher or preacher within the text itself. While there has been some scholarly debate about authorship, tradition holds Solomon as the primary author. Question 20. According to the Song of Solomon, what metaphor is used to describe the love between the bride and groom? A. A rose among thorns. B. A lily in the valley. C. A gazelle leaping on the hills. D. A tree planted by streams of water. The correct answer is C. The Song of Solomon metaphorically describes the love between the bride and groom as a gazelle leaping on the hills, capturing the vitality and passion of their relationship. Question 21. In 1 Samuel, who was the prophet who anointed both Saul and David as kings of Israel? A. Elijah B. Nathan C. Samuel D. Elisha
The correct answer is C. And the Lord said, Rise and anoint him, for he is the one. So Samuel took the horn of oil and anointed him in the presence of his brothers, and the Spirit of the Lord rushed upon David from that day forward. Then Samuel set out and went to Ramah. Question 22. According to Jeremiah, what was the name of the king of Babylon who conquered Jerusalem and took the people into exile? A. Nebuchadnezzar B. Cyrus C. Darius D. Xerxes The correct answer is A. In the ninth year of Zedekiah, king of Judah, in the tenth month, Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, marched against Jerusalem with his entire army and laid siege to the city. And on the ninth day of the fourth month of Zedekiah's eleventh year, the city was breached. Question 23. In Lamentations, who is traditionally believed to be the author of the book? A. Isaiah B. Ezekiel C. Daniel D. Jeremiah The correct answer is D. While not explicitly stated, tradition attributes the authorship of Lamentations to the prophet Jeremiah, reflecting on the destruction of Jerusalem. Question 24. What did Ezekiel see in a vision by the river Chabar that represented the glory of the Lord departing from Jerusalem? A. A wheel within a wheel. B. A valley of dry bones. C. A temple made without hands. D. A fiery chariot. The correct answer is A. When I looked at the living creatures, I saw a wheel on the ground beside each creature with its four faces. The workmanship of the wheels looked like the gleam of barrel, and all four had the same likeness. Their workmanship looked like a wheel within a wheel. Question 25. In Daniel, what was the name given to Daniel's three friends who were thrown into the fiery furnace? A. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. B. Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah. C. Haggai, Zechariah, and Malachi. D. Gideon, Jephthah, and Samson. The correct answer is A. But there are some Jews you have appointed to manage the province of Babylon, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego who have ignored you, O king, and have refused to serve your gods or worship the golden statue you have set up. Question 26. According to Hosea, what was the name of the prophet's unfaithful wife who symbolized Israel's unfaithfulness to God? A. Dinah B. Rachel C. Leah D. Gomer The correct answer is D. When the Lord first spoke through Hosea, he told him, Go, take a prostitute as your wife and have children of adultery, because this land is flagrantly prostituting itself by departing from the Lord. So Hosea went and married Gomer, daughter of Diblaim, and she conceived and bore him a son. Question 27. In Joel, what did the prophet declare was coming upon the land as a day of darkness and gloom? A. The outpouring of the Holy Spirit. B. The invasion of foreign armies. C. The locust plague. D. The restoration of Jerusalem. The correct answer is C. Joel prophesied that a day of darkness and gloom would come upon the land, symbolized by a locust plague, as described in Joel 2, 1, 11. Question 28. 
According to Amos, what was the primary message of the prophet to the people of Israel? A. The destruction of Israel's enemies. B. The coming of the Messiah. C. Social justice and righteousness. D. The restoration of the temple. The correct answer is C. Take away from me the noise of your songs. I will not listen to the music of your harps, but let justice roll on like a river and righteousness like an ever-flowing stream. Did you bring me sacrifices and offerings forty years in the wilderness, O house of Israel? Write in the comments how many questions you answered correctly. If you like this quiz, rate it with the like button as not to lose us. Subscribe so you don't miss the next one. Thanks for watching. Amen.